Ow. <laughs> fail again. <laughs> Double fail. Round two. Hey, v -Butts, I'm back, and today we have a giant box, oh, I didn't show it, from Smushy Mushy. We're gonna be checking out some of the new stuff that they have to offer. In the email, I believe it said they might even include clothing and electronics now, so the plan is to open up what I've received, find out what they're offering now, and what the quality is gonna be like. So in the future, if you wanna buy it, you know if it's a good idea. Fingers crossed, uh, there's no glitter. Oh, it smells so good in here. Bring it down, do you see? So we got tissue paper. There's a lot in here. We've got a world's smallest smushy mushy. It looks like their original bottle. We did get electronics. We've got some fashion headphones. It looks like it even comes with a smushy. What is this? Oh, it's stuck to it. We have a mini backpack that we could decorate ourselves and it looks like it comes with a smushy keychain. We've got a Rad's candy surprise. Oh, we have another candy surprise and three smushy mushy besties. These are series five. So we've got a purple one, a blue one, and a pink one. We have a new bento box. We've got socks, five pairs of socks. What a pretty pastel color combo. And this is the last item in there, Bitsy Bunny. It's a pet plush toy. It's a plush. Squishy. Now I haven't seen any plush squishies from Smushy Mushy in stores. They might have existed. I haven't seen them in Canada. So this is new to me and I'm pretty excited and I'm pretty confident that this is what was causing the awesome smell in the box. So I put the smaller things aside and we'll check those out on the little table and just do the bigger things here. Actually, this is gonna count as small, but I'll show it to you first. We have a Smushy Mushy Series 3 bento box. This is the noodle surprise. And even though the Smushy Series is, series is? The Smushy series level has gone up. Not all of their individual lines sort of thing have caught up with that. So we have series five here, but the bentos are on series three. Does that make sense? But we will check out, are these super cute socks? So I need some scissors. I'm that person that usually rips the little plastic tab that holds the socks together and then I get holes in it. So I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna be smart about it. So we got five pairs of socks and it's not like I expected them to be, but they are not scented in case you were wondering. This one has hearts and stars all over it and it just says smushy squad any strings hanging off or anything like that does not appear so they are a small ankle sock a nice thin one perfect for spring or summer the second pair we have is patterned with white polka dots and stripes and there's a cute little lamb on the front with a cotton candy bestie there are no hanging off loose threads or small tears next pair I have is a light pink with that same polka dot and stripe pattern and this time I have a really cute bunny and a donut on the front and next up we have a purple pair with purple heart faces on it and it says bestie bestie and this time I have a light green pair with that same pattern polka dots and stripes there's a deer on the front and a chocolate bar bestie there is one or two threads coming out of his foot Hopefully it does not affect the performance of the sock. Overall out of five pairs, only one had a little bit of strength. They seem like a pretty good quality sock. They are definitely kid size. If you have small feet like me, you might be able to fit them. That my friend is a win. <laughs> Next up we have our Smushy Mushy headphones. These are fashion headphones and they are blue and pink. So they offer apparently good sound with 40 millimeter drivers to deliver a rich detailed audio experience. The box is really cute, so I'm getting distracted. So it's got performance accented by sleek and contemporary designs and they have an adjustable headband and padded ear cushion for a custom fit. Their sleek contemporary design is the outside of the actual ear muff portion with different characters that they have in their line. We also get a smushable Bitsy Bunny to hook onto the actual wire. I'm being so trendy in my smushy mushy headphones. I'm gonna be contemporary and sleek. She doesn't really smell. Usually the smushies have a scent. Oh, and she's flat. Since it's a squishy, I'll test it at the other table so you can see it better, but I'll tell you right now that the slow rise effect is a lot less than we usually get with the squishies because it's only in half. I guess that makes sense since it's gonna sit flush against you if we connect it to the wire of the headphones. How do we get this out of here? Mm -hmm. Oh. Our wires have a little pink hook so that we can actually hook on our bestie. Ta-da! Here are our headphones. They feel like a standard cheap headphone, but just slightly better. You can hear it. They're super clicky. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm expecting quality wise from this. I'd have to test it out and listen to some music on it and you just have to take my word for it. Uh, but I can tell you right now, at the top of this, there's some like hot glue, little wispy spider webs coming out where it looks like it's being glued together. Let's see how it fits. Right now, pretty small because I have a small adult size head, but they are adjustable, so. Now it's even more clicky. So they don't sit snug to your head. Once again, I am an adult. So it's nice and tight here and it is on my ears. Instead of staying like this, they go 
so it's not like a complete seal. So we'll take our smushy friend here and attach it to the headphones so you can wear your cool bling as you go. It looks so cool. And uh, I'm gonna test out, whoop, stop flipping around, Bitsy. I'm gonna test out what it sounds like and let you guys know. So when I originally plugged them in, it had sound, but nothing was playing, and I've had that before with better headphones. And when I originally started playing the song, because it was sort of moving a bit as I held my phone, I heard that, but it stopped after I adjusted it the way I wanted to. So now I'm gonna quickly try it again and just move my phone around to see what it would be like if you were walking. Um, but other than that, they actually seem pretty good and loud, and I'm gonna try it a little quieter too. I can tell you what I'm listening to, but that wouldn't be as fun. So maybe you could be a really good lip reader and uh, try to guess what I'm listening to. I think that would be more fun. That was so bad. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna try it really loud. That was actually pretty decent, even quietly. I should do a video where I can't hear myself. This could be dangerous. Now I really just wanna listen to the rest of the song. <laughs> Anyways, um, other than the relative shakiness of these, they sounded really good. I just wish it was more of a straight up and down fit versus a if you know what I mean. But ow! Nothing else seems to be structurally wrong with the actual headphones themselves. No scratched paint or anything like that. I don't see any tears or seams ripping or anything. So overall, they seem pretty good. Now, I can only speak to this one electronic item. I don't know what else they're gonna be offering, but for me, the headphones are a win. Especially if they're only gonna be between 12 and $19, I'd say go for it because they're better than a dollar store quality and they look pretty cute. Whoever wants to buy it is gonna feel like they're getting a good sound for a relatively cheap price Hopefully depending on what it's supposed to be my hair is all kinds of crazy looking now, right? Darn I'm gonna go ahead and open this one now because I can smell it and it's really exciting to me Mostly I'm excited for this container because look at it first of all It just looks like a hamburger made out of donuts. It makes me really happy I kind of wished that there was three separate donuts in there smushy if you're watching this Can you please make that an option? Because that'd be really cool. Basically, it's just a tub with a lid. It's really cute. And on the back, it tells you what you're gonna get inside. They're for ages to end up. Everybody can love a good scented squishy. Ooh. Our sticker and certificate are taped inside the lid. And our sticker is surprisingly small. Considering this is so big, I expected to get at least a big sticker. I mean, let's see what it says. Bitsy Bunny always means well, but sometimes she trips over her words and her own two feet. But it's okay, because her clumsiness is embraced by all of her friends. And her bestie is Danny Donut. This sounds like me. I am super clumsy and y'all embraced it. And now it's time to see our Bitsy Bunny. Oh, she's so cute. It's like the size of my head. She smells really good. Definitely like a simulated berry. Let's see how squishy she gets. She's like memory foam, so. She got a pretty good rise. She's a honey brown bunny and she's got white frosting and little sprinkles on top. The sprinkles are pink, blue, and yellow and they are stars, diamonds, and hearts. She's got like fudge tipped ears. It's really cute. And there's even pink inside her ears. Her face is really cute. Oh my gosh. I'm not seeing any stitching out of place or anything like that. It's really good. This whole room smells like whatever this is. I'm gonna put it back in there. The only thing about this that I would have preferred is if the sticker was bigger because I feel like I can't have a smushy be that big and her bestie be a teeny little sticker. Next up, we have our backpack. This is actually a crafting kit plus a wearable item, so it's definitely one of their newer ones. No suggested retail price has been given to me to let you guys know of, so I can't help you there. But it looks like it's a cute backpack with a lamb face. Hard for you to tell right now, but on the back it shows that. So we're gonna get the backpack, some color your own puffy stickers, and five designer markers. And the colors are light pink, bright pink, blue, yellow, and purple. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. I don't know why I cut the top. I could have just cut the bottom. Maybe because it's tight. I don't know. Here's our backpack. Oh, and we get the little bestie to hang. I'm sorry, I forgot that. This one is scented. So we have a little cotton candy cone bestie. And as usual, since you can't probably see it very well, I'll show it with the other small things. But we've got our puffy stickers that we're gonna decorate ourselves. And pro tip, color top down. That way you don't smudge all your hard work. Here are our markers. And they showed yellow on the box, but we actually get peach. And then here's, oh, it's protected. And then here's the super cute backpack. So it's a very thin plastic front, and that is where we'll stick our finished stickers. Inside we have tissue paper. It's a gray pink plaid. It's actually pretty cute. Not really necessary, I'll save that for a present for someone. <laughs> and there are no pouches or anything like that inside. It's just a straight up light pink mini backpack. I'm gonna see how well it's all attached. I don't see anything peeling off. I do see one minor thread coming out. It's attached pretty solid, I think it's just not cut. Other than that, it seems pretty good. 
It's usually the plastic part that's sewn on that rips first. So I'm just checking along the seams. They seem pretty decent. Since you'll need to see me color these uh, terribly because I'm not a great artist, now seems as good a time as any to switch to the other table. So. We'll see you in a second. And you can see your first real look at the designer markers. Here are the puffy stickers. We have a bear with a bacon bestie. This looks like it's Bitsy Bunny because there's Dana Donut, so it must be. And then we've got a corgi dog, don't quote me, but it looks like it, with a hamburger on its head and some french fries as a bestie. This seems sort of like a Swiss log, not sure what's going on up there. And then of course, we've got a smushy mushy logo. I don't know what I'm gonna color to be honest because none of these colors are the ones I would want to use for these characters. So I'll just do the donut. It's gonna be a really weird view for you. The markers feel pretty thick and nice. So I'm gonna use this peachy color. Who knows, maybe it might be more like a brown. Oh, I guess it's a little bit like a brown. So the puffy stickers are pretty cool. There's little dips and valleys and indents to make them look 3D and stuff instead of just puffy and round, but because of that, I look like I can't color. <laughs> it's really hard to see around the camera. I've come to the conclusion that although it looks peachy here, in person it looks like a light brown, so I'm okay with it. There's my first sticker. In the end, because that peach color does look like a brown, I went ahead and colored in Bitsy Bunny. I wanted to test out the markers on a larger space and I'm glad I did because now I can mention that if you overlap, you will get a whole bunch of lines. I'm not an artist, so I'm not sure what that's called, but you can see it visibly here. Let's add our stickers. The backpack on its own is pretty cute. Looks like she got a bite taken out of her. That's so mean, poor Dana. They look pretty good on there. They're not peeling off super easily. It bends with the bag, but if you poke like this, like straight up, you can peel it off. So it's removable, which is good. I wouldn't recommend wearing this if it's gonna rain though, cause those colors are going to run. Make a whole bunch more, stick them on, decorate and be happy. If you've seen them in stores, let me know how much they cost for you. That way if anyone else wants to buy one, they know. Also, have you seen other characters? Overall, I'm going to give that a thumbs up. It seems like a fun craft that kids would like. I know my daughter would like it. I enjoyed it. Since we're over here, really quick, I'm just gonna show you what those socks looked like. Here were the blue ones, Smooshy Squad, other blue ones, super cute little lambs with the cotton candy, Bitsy Bunny and Dana Donut, Unknown Deer and Chocolate Bar, and then the last one was Bestest Bestie. And here was Bitsy Bunny that came with the headphones. So you can see that it's only a half size smushy. It is still squishy, it's just got less of a rise, and it also does not appear to be scented. Or if it was, it just wore out. And it's just Bitsy Bunny wearing some blue headphones. And then here is the cotton candy that came with the backpack. I don't know the name specifically, but I feel like it's probably Connie Cotton Candy or something. And also, since I forgot to, now seems like a really good time to attach it to the backpack. So it's all pink with a light pink and blue striped cone. It's scented in a strawberry smell. And it seems a little bit bigger than a standard bestie size. And now it's time to open our little besties. These are the three cups that I have. They're all the same with the exception of the actual cup color themselves and the label that's on top. Pretty basic stuff here. These are Smushy Mushy Besties. They are all season five and they're for ages six and up, but most definitely not for children three or under because of small parts. Whoa, this is pretty simple inside. We got the little chocolate heart. It's very cute. Look at the little face. <laughs> it's got a light pink bow and cheeks. And because it's so small, it has a pretty quick rise. Surprisingly, it smells like grape, which you wouldn't expect. Since it's chocolate, you'd think it smells like chocolate. We also got a pink ball chain. Very cute. Move on to the blue one now. Ooh, we got a little chocolate bar in a wrapper. Since it's so thin, there's almost zero rise to it. It's pretty cute. It smells the same, grapey. And the ball chain is red. Ow, my elbow. Seriously, that's true today. Apparently I'm upping my pain game. Ta-da, oh wait, ta-da. <laughs> And the last one is purple. And the last one is purple. I said it's purple. No, I pulled off my nail polish. I got it. Oh, my nails. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, ooh, it's a pink and white swirled lollipop and it's making like a sour face. And it's kind of hard to see, but there are even little tiny blushy cheeks. We also got a green ball chain. Here it is. Oh, fail. Let me smell that. It smells grapey. Very specific grape, like hubba bubba grape. I'm gonna open these ones next, mostly because I've never seen them before. I don't know if wherever you live this was common, but in Canada, we have not had these. This is a Rad's 4-in-1 Deluxe Candy Plus Surprise. We're gonna get a bestie bracelet and charm, candy bag, and a mini poster, and the ones they've put on the front are really cute. And these are for ages three and up. And then it shows you what is actually inside. Here we go. Guess that's not a tear strip, but it worked. Aw, we have a s'more! So we've got two graham crackers, some melted chocolate, and a marsh. Oh no, where'd you go? Fail! 
Ow. <laughs> fail again. <laughs> Double fail. Let's try that again. And a marshmallow. Squeeze it this way. Oh, he's like hiding under a cover. <laughs> It doesn't seem to smell like much. In fact, if I'm being completely honest, it kind of smells a little bit like B.O., which is strange to me. Here is our bracelet. It is a toy. Do not eat it. We got a pink band. These are like jelly bands. And we got a donut. It looks exactly like Dana donut for the most part, just in different colors. It's one of those hard gummy keychains. And then we got a silver ball chain for our s'more. Ta-da! Here are our rads. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I've tried these before, so I'm gonna try them now. Okay, they just taste like a hard pressed powder candy. It's like a cross between a rocket and a runt. But in Canada, we call them rockets and you guys call them Smarties. In Canada, our Smarties are little candy coated chocolates. Very very much like M&M's. This is Samira S'more. Oh, Samira S'more. Very cute. I actually super love this poster. And on the back, they do show the other characters. So there's the 13 besties. Collect them all. And here are the charms. And then down at the bottom, it shows other Rad's products to look out for. So it looks like regular, four in one, twists, foams, and three in one. This one is Rad's three in one. So that's going to be this thing. These are for ages three and up. Whoop, fail. Ages three and up, we're going to get a candy bag, collector card, and bestie bracelet and charm. That sounds very much like what we just opened but this time in a box it's a very cute box though oh that's cute there's like a little checklist there and we can actually pop this off it's perforated that's really cute oh my gosh we got a matching bracelet whoa whoa whoa, whoa. it's legitimately the same they're both really good quality though i don't see any defects on either of them i could give a bestie to my bestie and then we got more candy if i'm gonna be completely honest i think i prefer this one over this one just because you get more in it so the four in one makes sense this only has three in one if you're looking for a charm and something squishy and the candy definitely go with this one plus that poster was super cute and this one just has the bracelet now i'm gonna open the world's smallest smushy mushy but before i do i just want to give you a warning that I'm not gonna open this one today but for a very good reason I've been collecting and working on a video where I find all the toys that I can get my hands on that come with both a toy as well as slime that way if you really wanted a toy like that you'd have a good sense of which ones have a good quality slime and product for you so I'm gonna save this for that video and if you can think of any others that you want me to check out if I haven't already bought them then I'll go try to find them so look forward to that in another video I love everything world's smallest and we don't have a a very good selection in our stores of them so I'm jealous of anyone who does <laughs> these are for ages five and up we're gonna get one soft figure one bestie one chain one sticker and the case with a lid it's basically a straight-up mini version of a regular smushy mushy plus contents and I ripped it but on the back it said collect them all that was easy our bottle is clear but it's wrapped in the green plastic that says smushy mushy oh so smushy oh so squishy we've got a blue lid and a purple straw collect them all Pretty excited for this. Yeah. Basically, it's a replica of a full-size smushy, but at bestie size. Oh my gosh. We got a little deer. It's a very light, light peachy brown color with pink in its ears, scoop of melting ice cream on its head with some dark antlers as well as back and front feet. It's straight up cute. It's actually got a pretty good rise as well. And it came with a gold ball chain. It has a slight berry smell, but as though it was fading away, like it's been there for a while. Oh, that's different. This one's harder for you guys to see. Maybe I could put it on a different colored thing. That's as good as it's gonna get. We have a little chocolate bar bestie charm. It's plastic with embedded glitter. You can sort of make out those details. There's a little face there and it's an opened wrapper with some pieces of the chocolate bar on top. And this one also has a gold ball chain. Here's our sticker. It says it's Felina Fong. Actually, it looks like it's a pie on her head, not ice cream. But anyways, it says Chessie Chocolate. We had Felina Fong. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. This is my other Felina Fong that I got in big size. So it does look looks similar but it's different. To be fair though, this is from the gumball machine and her bestie was dropping. Her bestie was Gracie Gum. So really, how does Felina have so many besties? She must be pretty great because this time she got Chessie Chocolate. I guess it makes sense that they have their standard characters but in a different look for each new series that they make. Hee hee hee. Okay guys, that's everything that we opened today. Overall, I'm really impressed with the giant squishy plush. It smelled amazing, it felt super soft, and it was really cute. The only thing that would have made it better is if there had been three squishy donuts in there, then I would have been in heaven. When it comes to future clothing items from Smushy, I would say that so far, from what I was able to see, the images are crisp and the fabric is nice, not scratchy or itchy or anything like that, and for the most part, they're pretty great. I would suggest looking to make sure before you purchase anything that there are no strings hanging off and then you should be fine. When it comes to the headphones, I'm going to say other than the little bits of glue that I found, the overall product was really good. It did feel a bit cheap and plasticky, which you were able to tell by me shaking it and it sounded super clicky. The sound was really good though. It was nice and clear and the imaging on the side was perfect.
perfect, no scratches, it wasn't overlapping or wrapped around the side. Overall, the product itself was pretty good. I'm not sure what types of electronics they're gonna offer in addition to these headphones, but at least for me, these ones are a go. And now we'll move on to the backpack. Not only is it cute, but it's also wearable and a craft. You'll get to sit down and customize this. You can make your stickers look like whatever you want and do not feel limited to using the five colors they've sent. Because honestly, they're just markers. You can use any colors you want. I liked that we could decorate it by sticking them on and that they were easily removable. But just remember, I would not suggest wearing the backpack outside in the rain. Also, I will point out that it's more of a canvas material at the back and the straps and fabric itself is very thin. So don't put super heavy objects in it and you should be okay. When it comes to all the little keychains we got, despite what package they came out of, they were all what you would expect. A really cute little character, slow or fast squish, depending on how thick they were, and they all smelled really good. I didn't notice any paint defects other than a small dot here or a little airbrushing there. For the most part, they were all excellent. And then the last thing I opened was the world's smallest smushy, which is really cute. It was basically a bestie size version of a big squishy and a charm. So that was cute and a different way to offer us a keychain, but I wish the plastic had been colored and not clear because it was really hard to see that. Other than that, it was basically a mini version of a squishy. If you know somebody who loves smushies, cute things, or my videos in general, then please share this one with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like, and also if you have any of these items where you live, what they cost. That way, if anyone's interested in picking some up, they have an idea of what they have to spend. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!